welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I am just drying off some more Chino cherries and some pineapples because I am getting ready to make a pineapple upside down cake. Oh my goodness, you guys are going to want to stay with me for this one because it's going to be amazing. Let's get started on this pineapple upside down cake. And I'm gonna have all the ingredients and everything and instructions in the description. So we're gonna just go in with our melted butter right down in the bottom of the pan. I like to kind of brush it up the sides a little bit as well. We're gonna take our brown sugar and sprinkle it right on top of this butter as evenly as you can all around. Don't forget the corners. We know how we like when we cut into our cake, we like the corners. Now, come on. Now, most people are familiar with pineapple upside down cake to have pineapple rings with the cherry in the middle, but I do mine a little bit differently. This is cooking at Pam's Place way, so I'm using pineapple chunks. set our topping in the refrigerator so that it can set. That way it won't be so watery. Okay, we'll be right back. We're going to add salt to this. We're adding baking powder. We just want to whisk this together. And we'll get our wet ingredients going. Make sure this is all whisked together really good. And set this aside. All right, we are going to beat our butter on high speed until it's nice, smooth, and creamy. Now we'll add in our sugar. Next, our egg whites. Next, sour cream and vanilla. Now we're going to alternate our flour mixture and our milk until it's all in there and all combined. Now that we have everything in here, we're gonna give it a good mix by hand. Set that aside. We are mixing this by hand at this point to make sure we do not over mix our batter. It's kind of thick, so you wanna put it in here and then spread it out a little bit. Okay, we're going to go in a 350 degree oven for about 45 or 50 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, I just thought I'd drop in here for a second. We are at about the halfway mark of our cake and I wanted to let you know at this point, what you want to do is take a piece of foil and just lay it over the top of it. Don't push it down tight or anything. You don't want to create any steam, but that'll keep it from over browning. It's a very, very thick cake batter, but it's a thin cake, so it needs to cook thoroughly. So just lay a piece of foil over there. And while we're waiting, guys, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be there every time I upload a another amazing recipe. For those of you all who are subscribed, thank you so much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. And for everybody watching this video, share it out guys. Share it out and when you get to the end of it, I've got a special treat for you guys. I've got a video that's been picked out just for you. So make sure you watch until the end and click on that video. I'm pretty sure you'll like what you see. Okay, I'm going to go check on the cake again, and we'll be back when it's all done. 
Okay guys, we are all done. Doesn't this look amazing? Now you can see why I don't use the circles. Oh my goodness. This is looking so good and amazing. Yes. Okay, thank you all so much for coming. And until next time, be blessed.